Good morning everybody, it is an awesome day in Durban today and I'm making my way through to the Mount Moreland area once again to the pigeon breeder's house. Uh, this time he hasn't got a black mamba inside the pigeon loft or pigeon aviary but rather in the storeroom where he keeps all the food for the for the birds. Uh, what obviously happens here is that the rats can smell that inside the room there is a uh, bird feed and they're coming in there to try and get into the bird feed or to find little bits and pieces and scraps on the floor that are obviously messed from time to time and uh, so the rats are smelling the food and they're coming into the room as a result there's a scent of the rats that are coming and going and then a mamba happens to pick up on the scent and he follows it and where does the scent lead him? But directly into the room. So that's what's happened now. One of his staff members has gone into the room and spotted the snake. And the pigeon breeder guy has called me. And I'm almost there. I'm about five minutes away, guys. I'll see you there. Alright, the complainant has informed me that he's not at home, it's just his worker that's here. And uh, the worker hasn't got a remote for the gate, so I'll be doing a little bit of acrobatics here and having to jump over the fence. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I've just seen the worker going into the pigeon aviaries here, so that's a worry because that means that he hasn't been watching. Yeah, let's hope the snake hasn't snuck off while he's not here watching. Love it. Oh, is it on top? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, the corner, yeah. Okay. You can see it now? Yes. Oh. It's the inside now. Okay. Sure. Alright, let's get up the ladder. And see if Mr. Snakey is still here. Apparently, it was last seen up inside here. Mm, no. Yeah, see it now. Just, just caught a glimpse of it. It's in that corner there. All right. How are we going to do this? Maybe that'll work. Phew. I don't know what the snake wants to be doing inside a roof in this kind of heat. Oh, there you are. There you are. Check your guys. Hey Snake, how am I going to get you there? Because he's over on the other side of this lip. Maybe I can remove this. Give me better access. Why don't I just do that while his head is away? Yeah. Hey, is it, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah? 
Where is he? Hey, you make me let him go now. Oh, okay. This guy's screaming at me as if the snake's coming out somewhere by my head or something. So I had to let go. Uh, I do believe that. Those blunt scissors. I think they're the best my life. <laughs> Definitely do not want to end up being bitten on the head by a mamba. Why is he moving? Where are you going to come out? I think he's trying to squeeze his way out of here. Okay, thanks. I'm okay for now. This guy is in such a tight, tight, tight place. Hey guys, I've got a tail. No idea where the head is. Well, I have an idea where the head is, but it could pop out pretty much anywhere, yeah? I'm just gonna reposition the phone. Okay. No. 
Try and get the snake to stick its head out somewhere or just to reverse. Oh, snake. I can't understand why he's not sticking his head out somewhere. Is, if you're looking from the outside, can you see the head on, on the outside? No, hmm. only the saga. Okay. Maybe cutting the saga. Okay. okay. He's like tightly jammed in there. Definitely not the kind of situation you want to find yourself in with a mom, but are you having to hold on to the tail? But it's better than letting him go and then he disappears. <coughs> Just going to try to be a little bit rough without actually hurting him. There we go. Now he's starting to want to reverse a bit. All right. There we go. He's coming slowly. There's the head. Get the head to reverse. Sorry about that, guys. The snake knocked the phone off the shelf here where I was balancing it. I just want to get him out of here quickly. Come on, phone. I haven't got time for balancing acts here. Got a mom in my hand. Flip. All right, so yet another mamba safely removed from this guy's property and one less to worry about in the neighborhood. And now to get back over the fence with a mamba. All right, done deal. Snake is safe in the bag. Got another two mambas in these buckets, which is why I couldn't use them. I put these buckets in the morning in the car 
<coughs> because it's my intention to take them and release them today sometime uh, when I'm not running around that is let's hope I can get to do that right now before I get another call okay Mr. Black Mamba you are free to go okay let's see your head's not in that corner so You can't take my pillowcase with you, dude. Never to be seen by a human, probably, ever again.